part, we crashed Bowser's moon wedding, rescued Peach, and now we're back in the Mushroom Kingdom. So, I decided I'll play around in the Mushroom Kingdom for a bit, but I won't be getting all the moons right away. Or should I just... Well, we'll we'll head to Peach's castle like, like we were told to. There's a big gathering inside the castle. Toadette is hard at work in the castle. What the? Oh, okay. And we're gonna call these. Purple coins, because they are the original purple coins. Peach's Castle main entrance. Awful news, Mario! Princess Peach has gone missing again! She packed her suitcase, happy as can be, and walked off. We can't find her anywhere. Where is she? Our Princess Peach is gone again. We've looked all over. Where's our Princess Peach? I've looked all over. Princess Peach packed up and left. Have you seen her? She's not here, or here, or even here. We have some hint art on the wall to look at. Gee, I wonder what that means. Miss Tiara was here, but she's vanished too. Archivist Toadette. Hiya, Mario. Looks like you're on another big adventure. That's great. I hope you don't mind, but I've been keep traveling the world and keeping track of your achievements. I've also got power moons to give you as rewards for those achievements. Oh, hey, you've already completed Rescue Princess Peach. Congrats. You could also see the names of the power moons you'll get for all your achievements. I'll add some hints to the Power Moon list, which you can see by opening your map with minus and pressing Y. So, yeah. All kinds of moons that we can get for achievements. Yep, it's gonna take a while. Like, look at that. Mushroom Kingdom, it says 104 moons. On the Power Moon list, you can check out the Power Moons you've already collected. You know, just in case you need it. Well, I'll be right here when you want to achieve some achievements. And whenever she's clapping her hands when you walk up to her, or whenever she's clapping her hands, it means she's got a moon to give to you. But we're not going to do that quite yet. We're going to go play. So many things to do in the Mushroom Kingdom. So many purple coins. No, I fail. Oh, there's a mushroom. Ah! That's annoying. There we go. The uh, purple coins are pretty easy to find. And, uh, gee, where have we seen this tree before? What the hell? It's a star. Pops out of the tail. Apparently, power moons come in other shapes. I had no idea. Oh, yeah, there's a guy where you gotta find his sheep. Kick all the mushrooms. See here. My six sheep have run off. Please bring them back to me. Sure, why not? We'll take back. We'll bring him his sheep. 
One of them's just over here. Move it. What the? Okay, move it. Go over there. There's one. Might as well get the sheep thing out of the way because it's annoying. No, give me these coins. Sheep, sheep, we're looking for sheep. There's one over there. one in the mushroom woods. And each one of these things, um, it leads to like a, you can fight the game's bosses again, only they're a little harder. I don't think I've done all of them. Watch out in those woods. It's very dangerous. Because there are Goombas. But I'm going to ignore the Goomba. Zzz. Because we got sheep to take care of. This guy wants his sheep back. Hey, go over there. Over there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go over there. No. That's three. Okay, I don't know if there's any of them down there. This might actually be a long streaming segment because of how much stuff there is to do in the Mushroom Kingdom. And like I said earlier, I'm not going to do all of it at once. That's just too much. Too much to do. Ah, whoa, stupid Goomba. The Goomba Woods is full of Goombas. Here's a sheep. Move it. No, not in the water, you stupid. Why are there koi in there? Whoa, I almost stepped on the fire. Yeah, but they were lazy. And it's a musicless area. Move. Move. 
Can't you move any faster? Well, I guess it's good that they don't move super fast, because then it would be really tough to get them. Go flying. Well, actually, I think the reason why they didn't put any music is because there was no music for outside Peach's castle in Super Mario 64. So, that may be a, uh, reference to the original Super Mario 64 game. A tribute to it. I don't necessarily like it. And there's a Shiba over there. First, we gotta find two more sheep. There's one right there. Move your ass. Or I'll move it for you. Um, I played Super Mario 64 DS. I never played the original Super Mario 64. But I do have an N64 now, so I could I could actually play that. I haven't tried yet, but there it is possible that I could get my N64 to work with my capture card since it has an HDMI converter. Well, it converts its um, output to HDMI. I had to buy a special adapter for that. It was like 30 bucks. And there's the last sheep. No, don't go that way. Well, I guess, yeah, go that way. Once we get these sheep taken care of. Oh, where are you going? Okay, fine. I'll chase you under there. I played the DS version, never beat it because I was younger at that age. I was also a child when the N64 came out. So you said you're 24? I'm 26. Give me their power star moon thing. Thank you so, so, so much. Herding a sheep at Peach's castle. Okay. Now we can back, go back to exploring. I see those coins up there. Shrooms. There's also coins at the top of the fountain. There's a big Samia. The Samia is grande. know the word yep I know the word Samia because daddy inkling eats hold on Semillas de girasol? Yeah, you 
do hear me in the distance, but uh, Daddy Inkling likes sunflower seeds, and he would call them Samias. Yeah, he called them Samias. I'm a big fan of flavored sunflower seeds. Oh, there's another Samia. Oh, I already threw them over there. Also, there's a rabbit. Oh, I might as well chase this little shit. There you go. Give me that. Hot hopping at Peach's castle. Let's see. Oh, oh, I know where one of the other ones is. The game calls them seeds, but honestly, it looks like a big nut. A big golden nut. Long jump into the water. Dory, you have a bird on your nose. Let's swim together. What if I don't want to swim with you? Mushroom pond. We gotta hang off for some more purple coins, and there's more over there. <laughs> Under a riverfall? You mean a waterfall? It's waterfall? I can't say that I've ever been under a waterfall before. I mean, I've never been under a waterfall. I meant to say under. I've never been under a waterfall. Wouldn't, wouldn't it still be called a waterfall? I don't know. Toad is very proud of this garden. I like how they brought back the star shrooms from Super Mario Galaxy. Don't question it. Ah. Wasn't the other seat? Yeah, there it is. Ah! I don't... Wait. The giant nut's just right there. Oh yeah, and those Koopa races. I'm not gonna be doing those either. Well, at least not the... Not the second... The first race I can do. I can't do the second ones. I'm just not that good. Hmm. 
Taking the seed to the garden. That missed. Oh my god. What is this? There's some purple coins. Is, is Captain Toad up there? He is. Oh my god, I cannot get up there. Oh my god. How am I supposed to get up there? Seriously. Oh, I can't. I, I'm not good at doing that. There we go. Great to be back home again, but you know, after my long trip, I'm seeing things here from a whole new point of view. I'll never hang up my adventuring hat, but for now, I'm glad to be back. Hey, here. One more power moon for you. Forever onward, Captain Toad. Oh, there's the Sheba. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need him to find something. Where is it, boy? There it is. Found at Peach's Castle, good dog. Now you can stay away. I believe we should go up there. And there's more. So much stuff to explore. You rat. I fell. I wish I could go in there. Goombas, go away. I don't think I'm even going to have to ask Bowser where these are. Ah! Go, go, go! Mushroom Kingdom Timer Challenge. I don't need the thing anymore. I do want to take this nut. No! It's my nut! Don't touch my nut!
foul Goombas. Back, peasants. 86. Oh, I know where there's more of them. There's some underneath the bridge. Well, oh, uh, will I be able to roleplay later? Uh, it depends on how I feel. If I'm in a serious Super Mario Odyssey mood still, I'm gonna continue playing Super Mario Odyssey. Because, um, I watched Abdallah Smash play, or I watched him do his playthrough of Super Mario Odyssey, and it reminded me how awesome the game is. I was watching him play it while I was, um... Hunting for, or I should say, f my feudal hunt for shiny Pokemon because I cannot find a wild shiny to save my soul. Ah, look at this. Here we have a painting. This will take us to... Where the crap does this take us? Although I should be able to roleplay late at night because after mommy and daddy inkling go to bed they don't like it when I stream because my voice kind of projects and um they don't close the door to their bedroom. Secret path to bub lane. Here we go. I'm just gonna skip that. Because we've seen it a million times. Well, maybe not literally a million times, but we've seen it a lot. And you know what? I'm not even going to ask Bowser where the coins are. I can find them by myself. Oh, yeah. And once you complete the game... The Odyssey gets repainted. All those, all those damaged scuff marks are gone from where you, uh, the damage taken from the Cloud Kingdom and the Ruin Kingdom. Uh, let's do this. Just like in Super Mario 64, you're able to drain the moat. And here, we're gonna drain the moat by... Holy got all these stakes. It even makes the same noise that it does when you um, drain the water. And now that the water is drained, we can go get some Goombas and impress the Lady Goomba over there. Let's do that. Goombas in their natural habitat. Are there any more Goombas? Come here. Oh my god. Come here. I'm a bouncing Goomba Tower.
Uh, okay. That was weird. Love at Peach's Castle. Oh yeah, and there's a toad over here. Where is he exactly? Oh yeah. If you talk to him, he says, I'm guarding this power moon from Goombas. I'm not scared. Nope, not me. Okay, I put all the Goombas over there. That's bad. I need a Goomba. Whoa, hello. Load of coins. Where's there a Goomba? I hate you, sheep. Toads do get scared easily. Hey, you can play picture match way up in the Cloud Kingdom. Fun! I don't exactly like that picture match thing. It kind of annoys me a bit. I'll have to wait for the Goombas to respawn down there because they're up here. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, ho, ho! Can I get out of the moat like this? I can. Let's go scare that toad with a massive Goomba tower. Hey toad, guess what? I will scare you around Goombas. Thank you. Toad defender. Well, he's not a very good defender, is he? Okay, where's that tree? Okay, it's over there. There's two coins atop this tree. Oh my god, what is this? Yep, that toad just noped out of there. Jeez, what am I supposed to do up here? What am I supposed to do with you, you stupid coin? There we go. Kind of cheese that a little bit. Oh, here's some more. 94. And our seeds... My goodness, yawns. Be gone. Our seeds are almost grown. Yawns, be gone. Oh, the Goombas are still there. Oh no, they're gonna get you! So all these fruits floating around. Boy, we should find someone to eat them. There's a power moon up there. Let's take over his body. Yeah. 
I forgot how to go up there. Hang on. Just do a Yoshi jump. Sorry, Yoshi, I didn't mean to stomp on you. Where are the last purple coins? fall down from here. Wait. I think I know where they are. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, now that I'm up here. See the whole mushroom kingdom. Where are those last coins? fruits. We're going to eat all the fruits. Eat all the Goombas. Gotta eat all the fruits, all of them. Let's see, I know there's fruits up there. Ah, here's some more here. Feck off, Goomba. Try to eat fruits here. Leave me alone. Gobbling fruit with Yoshi. Just eat that fruit, Yoshi. Oh yeah, you can lick mushrooms too. You can do shrooms. Whoa, I almost ran into that Goomba. Fruits, fruits, fruits. Oh no, I fell. I killed Yoshi. Took that turn a little too hard, too sharp. Well, oh well. Let's go get him again. He's just like the Yoshi in Super Mario Sunshine. He dies the moment he touches water. Well, at least he doesn't dissolve like he does in in Mario Sunshine. That's creepy. Mm. 
Come here, Yoshi. Sorry, I did not mean to throw you in the water. Yeah, Yoshi, um... Let's see what he says. This is Yoshi's favorite food. I saw him in the castle a while ago. Wonder where he is now. Big eater. But yeah, in Super Mario Sunshine, if you fell into water deeper, like if you fell into water that Mario had to actually swim in, okay, Yoshi would dissolve. He would dissolve and you'd have to go get him from his egg again. It was kind of weird. Because, I mean, for being an island with water everywhere, why would Yoshi dissolve? It doesn't make sense. It was a rather annoying mechanic, honestly. Oh, I can understand them how they used it for a certain puzzle in Rico Harbor. We had to climb up these towers using the, um... Well, in Super Mario Sunshine, was that was the game where Mario had Flood. Uh, it was based around cleaning up paint. But, um, Mario had Flood. And while riding Yoshi, he would vomit juice. Projectile vomit juice everywhere. And you had to eat fruit to keep his stomach full and able to spit juice, because... Yeah, it was kind of gross. And the projectile juice vomit had different effects. There were three different colors that Yoshi could be because he would turn different colors based on what fruit he ate. And you can't... Okay. If you sprayed enemies with pink vomit, they would turn into these square platforms that move horizontally. Um, purple would make them go, make platforms that go vert vertically, and orange would just turn them into static platforms, platforms that didn't move at all. You could defeat enemies by eating them. And there were even some of the blue coins that you had to get by uh, having Yoshi eat all the bees from a beehive. Also, if you got off of Yoshi and left him near fruit, he would eat the fruit on his own. Yoshi was very interesting in that game, needless to say. And if I had a way to stream Super Mario Sunshine, I would, but... I don't believe I have an HDMI connector for the Wii. Oh, that's right. There's fruits over here. 
But um, I think it would be very cool if they did a remake of Super Mario Sunshine using Mario Odyssey graphics. That would look very awesome. And they'd probably use uh, like, if they were to do that, I wouldn't put it past them to use the uh, engine for the ink in Splatoon for the for the goop in Super Mario Sunshine. It was a fun game. It was like the first GameCube game I ever got, and I was a little whiny baby. Why do you say that? He says if they make a remake of Super Mario Sunshine, it'll be like a Black Friday deal. Why do you say that? Luigi. Yeah, that's true. <gasps> there they are. The last of the purple coins. And the last of the purple coins in the game. Oh, no, wait. I didn't get all the purple coins in the moon kingdom. Oh, I loved Super Mario Sunshine. It was, it's so great. So uh, so are its successors, the Super Mario uh, Galaxy. Ugh. I will definitely stream those games at some point. And it'll be fun, because Mommy Inkling likes to play Super Mario Galaxy with me. She, uh... Has way too much fun picking up star bits. <sighs> Mommy Inkling's hand eye coordination isn't good enough for, or it isn't developed enough for serious gameplay, but she can do simple stuff like. Point a remote at the screen and move a, and sw sweep a cursor across the screen with it. And using the backwards compatibility with the Wii U, I could easily um, stream Super Mario Galaxy. And Super Mario Galaxy 2, I have that one. I've beaten both of them, but I've never completed both of them because. Oh, excuse me. Some of the shit there is just really, really hard. I don't know where those last few fruits are. Where are the last fruits? Oh, you... Safe says he's beaten the first one. Isn't it great? The second one is fantastic because the second Super Mario Galaxy game has Yoshi.
And Yoshi doesn't dissolve in Super Mario Galaxy like he did in Super Mario... Sunshine, did I just lick that sheep? Wait a minute. Under the castle? You mean in the pipe? Yeah. There they are. She's all filled up. Which means we can leave him. Bye, Yoshi. So now that we're done hunting for fruit, let's do the music note thing. the table I hit the table with my joy-con taking notes around the well also we can't forget the power moon over here Sorry, I'm not at home, but I have gone to Peach's castle. Yoshi. It was kind of a hard hit, yeah. Put out the fire. Climb the chimney. Secret path to Peach's castle. You got up here and you could get a great view of the castle. Yeah, I just would BAM! Let's go shopping! Shopping near Peach's castle. Mario 64 cap, a charmingly blocky version of a classic. Mario 64 suit, when you just want to wrap yourself in nostalgia. But it's ugly and I don't want to wear it. Oh goodness, I'm yawning a bunch. Maybe I should take a nap after this segment. Pipe sticker. A sticker designed to look like a pipe. Coin sticker. A sticker designed to look like a coin. Block sticker. A sticker designed to look like a block. Question block sticker. A sticker designed to look like a question block. Mm -hmm. 
Mushroom Kingdom sticker, a sticker inspired by Peach's Castle. Oh, hold on. Mushroom cushion set. The mushroom pattern on these cushions has certainly withstood the test of time. The tablecloth is also included in the set. Yeah, maybe I do. We'll do the two pipes though. Peach's castle model. Who wouldn't want to scale a model of this famous castle? Even the beautiful stained glass window in the center has been faithfully recreated. Let's go have a look at our souvenirs and do those two pipes which were blocked with fruit. There's the cushions. And where's the peach? Oh, the peach castle models right back there. Yeah. It's 4 p.m. here. I promise I'll go take a nap. I'll take a nap after I complete this stuff in these two pipes. The water is so perfect. Oh, this place. There's a power star hidden over here. Now nah, you're not in the future. You're just in a different time zone. Also, for some reason, there's giant eels in the clouds. Well, that was close. Ah, oh, hi. Why are there giant eels? Oops. Why are there giant eels in the clouds? That, that makes zero sense. Mommy inkling in the background. It's a video game. I love this. Yo, she's a freaking ninja. Too soon. I just ate that fruit right out from under that eel. Or right out from above that eel. And we're done here. Yoshi's Feast in the Sea of Clouds. I need you to go away. The fog mechanics are pretty amazing too. See ya, Yosh. down here to this pipe. Oh, wait a second. This one's a boss area. Oh, yeah. That's the more tricky version of that boss. So? I guess I will go take a nap. And when we come back, when I come back, We will.
Go to the Cap Kingdom, I guess. How does that sound? Go to the Cap Kingdom? All right, so when I get back from my nap, we'll be doing the Cap Kingdom. Mario seems tired, too. We'll go into the, uh, we'll go over to the uh, world map. Because I think there's a bit of dialogue. Since we got enough moons to go to the dark side of the, of the moon. The Odyssey is powered up. Now we can fly over to the dark side. I think that makes us real explorers now. But, when we come back, we'll be returning to the Cap Kingdom to get some power moons that are unlocked post-game. 